Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the new Imperial Stormtrooper. And this is from the new Mandalorian series with the orange uh, color scheme. So I uh, got these both on the same day. I uh, did a video for Mando already. So I'm in, in this video going to be doing the Stormtrooper. But just like I mentioned in the previous video, I think that is so cool that, you know, what they're doing with these new boxes, how Mando's arm sort of carries over into the Stormtrooper art. So Mando was number one, Stormtrooper's number two. So, Imperial Stormtrooper, Star Wars The Mandalorian. So the front looks like that. You know, just your basic Stormtrooper, but this is an updated design with better articulation, so I'm really excited to see how this one, you know, does. But that's what the front looks like. That side, obviously, the cool artwork. The back, same picture, just a little bit bigger. And bios, short bios in a few different languages. Bottom looks like that. The top has the little window, and that side has the front window that carries over onto this side. So, uh, yeah, let me get this thing open. All right, so here we are. The first thing I noticed when I got him out of the box was just the incredible amount of movement he has in his head. This is, this is crazy. But, uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Let's just get it. Just take a look at him. So, um, I also noticed that this armor piece, the chest armor, kind of moves up and down a little bit. It's kind of weird. But I got a good one as far as the paint. I think everything looks really nice. I don't have any little funky smudges or... I think everything looks pretty clean. Especially on the eyes. This is not bad. That's what the back looks like. Very Stormtrooper-ish. I mean, just your standard Imperial Stormtrooper. Thigh armor. Shin armor. The white shoes. Yeah. I mean, it's a stormtrooper. Yeah, he looks great. So let's just go through articulation. So the head. Tons of tilt. He can look down. He can look way up. He's got side to side. And he also has forward and back translation. Forward and back. So he can really... Just tons of head movement. Yeah. Arms. They can ro can they rotate around? No. No. They do not rotate around because of this piece is softer. It kind of blocks the arms from going around, but they do go up to there. This is very flexible, but it prevents any kind of rotation because it get well no, I'll take that back. Okay, it's just really, really Stubborn. That was weird. I was afraid this was going to break off. But okay. All right. So that's really, really soft right there. It's that's strange. Single jointed elbow, but it gets way past 90. You have a swivel at the elbow. The right hand, gun hand, has the usual up and down swivel. Left hand, same thing. Single joint, but way past 90. Swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and the left hand has a horizontal hinge. Just a little bit. Yeah. Wow, crazy movement in the arms, too. Oh, it's also got a butterfly joint forward and back to the shoulder. Okay, that's nice. At the midsection, he's got some swivel. He's got some decent crunch. Got some great back. Legs. So the legs are, if you try to just put them straight up, the thigh armor hits. But if you rotate out, then you can get the legs up a little bit more. Almost to, almost to 90. You know, but they go up in a V. You know, it looks kind of silly. But, you know, it, it swivels at the thigh. And the swivel is nicely covered by this thigh armor. He has a single jointed knee that only gets you up to there, but you know, it's an armored figure. So what do you expect? Feet go down to there. 
they go up that far, kind of bumps into the shin armor a little bit, and it swivels at the ankle, just like all of them. It's a good looking stormtrooper. I mean, it's a, it's a stormtrooper, but they did a nice job with it. As far as accessories, he comes with the standard issue stormtrooper blaster, the E11. It looks a little bit different. There's no paint on it, but it's an E11. I mean, you know what it is. Let's see how it goes in his hand. Not bad. First try, finger goes right into the trigger guard. Yeah, that's nice. And with the butterfly joint and the articulation, I mean, you can just about get him aiming down the sights. I'll probably play with it a little bit more, but um, it's not bad. I mean, it's a stormtrooper and his blaster. Just like all the rest of them. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go find a spot for him on the shelf over there next to Mando, since this is the same series. I mean, even though we've had Stormtroopers for, you know, since the beginning. This one is a new Mandalorian line, so I thought I would just stick him over there next to Mando. But um, I'm going to figure out a good pose for him with his rifle. And, um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like on the shelf. All right, so here we are. Imperial Stormtrooper. I decided just to pose him exactly how he's posed on the box. Yeah, he looks good next to Mando. Yeah, it's a good looking figure. You know, compared to, you know, the other Stormtrooper. Or the Stormtrooper Commander. You know, it's all very similar. It's just this one over here has a lot better articulation, especially in the shoulders and in the head. And I think I forgot to mention this new one. There's an actual head underneath the helmet. Yeah, there's an actual sculpted head underneath this one. Yeah. But it's a good looking stormtrooper. Yeah. Some other troopers. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I appreciate you hanging with me, guys. If you like stuff like this, be sure and hit like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. And let me know what you think of the new stormtrooper and its updated articulation. I think he looks really good. It's kind of cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys next time.